Right. Let it never be said that Retro Prime's close minded. Because that last night Optimus Prime really fucking soured me towards the whole line, to be honest. Um, he sat on the shelf that he's on just now, and I haven't touched him since I did the review. And to be honest, I wasn't looking to get any more from the line. I was done with it. It, it, it put me off completely. But another figure came my way, and oh my god, is he lovely. Barricade. Now, I'm loving, one thing I'm loving is these boxes, these sort of slender, slim, kind of like DC classics looking box that they come in. It's just, it's just nice. I like it. I don't know what Premier Edition means, but they're just lovely. Um, yeah, so I got this guy. The box is just the same as Optimus Prime. It's got artwork, artwork, Bumblebee, um, what's it called, Berserker, which I was also tempted by, but um, I've heard he's got tabbing issues, so I may just leave it until I do find him cheap. Uh, they've got on the top, there's, can you see that, is it getting light on it? Megatron, uh, the Berserker and Barricade standing, looking like they're going to kick the shit out of somebody. Uh, yeah, good, 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 good. It says, Barricade, Sinister Trickster. Okay. Hello, sorry for the jarring jump cut there. Um, I found that where I was filming wasn't bright enough to show you the figure because he's really dark and really dark paint skin. So, we're right in front of the window and I'm getting blinded, but hopefully you'll be able to see him a wee bit better. So... Anyway, straight out of the box I thought, you know what, this guy's very, very light, and it kind of was like, oh no, is it going to be as bad as Optimus Prime? But then I compared it to my, my last Titan's Return figure, deluxe car former, and you know what, there is next to no weight difference, I can't tell at all. If anything, he feels slightly heavier. Um, plastic build, although there is thinner panelling on reflection, I mean Optimus Prime's bad, but this panelling, it's thin, but it's not cheap, it's just thin purposely so that is a bonus but even on the back he's got his like it is the shell but it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel as shit as Optimus Prime did now as you can see he's got a lot of lovely detailing lights picked out his eyes are painted head lights grill there is a lot of sort of it's all oh, he's even got the receptor I never noticed that until just now the receptacle logo on his forehead that's quite nice um the paint scheme is very dark, or the colour schemes are very dark, so there's a lot of detail that you first miss because it, you just don't notice it unless you're right in front of a window like this with bright light on him. But it is lovely. Um, all the joints very much seem to, you know, they're very tight and nothing's popping off. And if, when I transformed him initially, his transformation was solid and together and everything worked really well. It was amazing. Um, he has wrists. Which is awesome because I can't think of a deluxe Titans Return guy who's got wrists. He also has those protect and serve knuckle dusters which I fucking love. That's such a good touch. Such a good touch. Yeah, this figure really has kind of given me a good vibe and feeling about him and stuff. Uh, kind of made me a bit happy after the bad taste Optimus left. Um, so look wise in robot mode, very very good, very poseable, very strong. The back is all kibble but apparently because it's on a soft joint that you can just pop off people have been using this as a shield so you can I'll try and get them to hold it actually I did not know exactly how they do it because I haven't done it myself there you go is a riot shield and that looks kind of cool <laughs> don't know if that's going to cause damage to the joint that connects it but I like it so design wise other than the back kibble which I don't mind too much and um, there's only two things I don't like there's a jarring change in the plastic colour in there, and I don't know why. I don't know. I don't really get why. Um, the same jarring change is also on his head. So like the black, the back part of his head is picked out in that sort of light, like, sort of light tan colour, and the front's the 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 deep blue, and it kind of looks like they're just not painted the back of his head. And it looks a bit weird. Although it does help his head stand out from the kibble at the back, so maybe maybe that's why they did it, I'm not sure. Um, but, those are minor gripes in what I consider to be a fantastic figure. Now, he comes with quite a few weapons, and quite a few good ones. This kind of, I don't know, like, chain gun ammunition thing, I'm not really sure what it is. It does clip on uh, underneath his wrists, so you can then close it around his arm, and he's got like... He also has 
a Robocop-esque pistol thing, hand cannon, which he holds rather spectacularly. Oh, I just love everything about this figure. He also comes with a, a baton that he doesn't really hold too well. I mean, he can hold it. Two seconds. He can hold it like that, and he can kind of hold it like on the top of the hand using the same peg. Get in there. And that's secure. But if you try and get him to hold it with the end of the pig sticker, like that, which you'd assume he would if he was using it, it's loose and comes out. He also has epic weapons, weapon storage on his, can you see there, on his thighs. So you can tab his gun on one side, tab his baton onto the other, and then he's got his weapons holstered and that just is just, mwah! I love good weapon storage and that is good weapon storage. Eww, how lovely is that? Now transformation is very intuitive, um, very very, I will say, I mean underneath, it just folds away like it, most car formers do. If you don't line up his sort of arms, if you don't line those up absolutely perfectly, it makes him pop, kind of untab and pop out, but it's not an issue with the figure, it's just that you've not lined him up properly. Once you have, he tabs in absolutely securely. Um, if anything, some of the tabs, especially on the back, are really hard to pop in, but once they're in, they're in, and it's just, oh, this is a fantastic mode. Oh, love it, love it, love it. He's got these, like, almost transclearing lights. There's lights are picked out, license plate isn't picked out. It looked like it was there, but it's, not, it's, just, a, it's just a reflection of the, of the plastic. Again, the wheels haven't got paint on them, but they've got the wee, the wee sort of pin that kind of gives them a bit of detail, I suppose. Um, on the side, he's got his to punish and enslave. Is it going to focus? And he's got his police thing. Uh, and like I said, the lights are picked up. That's just his chest, so it's the same. Lights. Lights, lights, lights. There is like, oh, you can catch it there, yeah. There's the black detailing against the blue. That's one of the things that you don't really see on robot mode, or if you're if you're in a low light situation, you'll not see that. Oh, I can't, I can't tell you how much I love this figure. Um, I'm a huge fan, a huge fan of the original Robocop film. And he looks like a, a police cruiser, somewhat, for Robocop. I did get the Robocop that I've got, and I was going to display them next to each other, but the, the scale's a bit off there, to be honest. So, weapon storage in alt mode, it's the same tabs that you use in uh, robot mode. They just, the thighs fold under, so you can slip them under the car, the gun, and the and the, the baton, and the store, and the, the, there's enough clearance for my roll. Very, very good. The Whatever this thing is, goes on the back of the car and can store like that. Doesn't look too good, but it stores nicely, so if, it, if you're going to display them in this mode, it doesn't really have a sort of massive effect on it. Yeah, so there you go. That's fantastic. I haven't enjoyed a figure that much in a long, long time. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so, do I recommend Barricade? Fuck I, I do. Buy him. Is he worth the over 20 quid mark? Mm, I can see, he's making me dead happy, so... The fact he costs over 20 quid isn't really bothering me at the moment. If he'd been crap, I'd have probably been raging. But no, I, I absolutely love that. That is literally one of my favourite movie figures now that I own. And I can't stop. I can't stop playing with it. I can't stop, I can't stop posing him and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I recommend him highly. Um, he doesn't feel cheap. He doesn't feel nasty. He doesn't have problems tabbing in. He doesn't have any loose joints. I can't see any QC issues in paint or, or connections or anything. So yeah, if you're... Willing to pay over £20 for a Deluxe, definitely go for him. So, I hope you like that figure, I really do. Um, please leave a comment to let me know how you're feeling about the line and, and, and how you're feeling about that toy if you've, if you've picked up on stuff. Um, also, like and subscribe, because I feed on your attention. <laughs> no, eh, if you feel like it, do it please. Um, yeah, so there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I certainly did, I hope you're having a good weekend, and I shall see you again soon with more toys probably. <laughs>